This is the tutorial for the Borderlands 3 hotfix merger. The first step is figuring out where Borderlands 3 is installed. So on Epic, it's going to be probably in one of these program files folders, and then open it, Epic Games. If you installed it here, it would be Borderlands 3. For Steam, there's another way of doing it. You go to library, right click on your game, browse local files. I don't have it on Steam, so I'm going to go to where I installed it. So here, then go to Oak Game, Binaries, Win64. Now we're going to go to the first link in the description. This is the plugin loader. You go find the first occurrence of D3D11.zip. Download it, open it. Then you want to copy the files to Win64 that you opened earlier. So now you've installed the plugin loader. You can close this. The next step is to install the hotfix merger. So you're gonna go here to this link. You're going to click b3hm.zip. Now, while it's downloading, you go to plugins. It's going to open. You can copy these files, drag them into the plugins folder, and now you've installed the hotfix merger. So that's all you need to do. So now the next step is configuring the hotfix merger. You're gonna to wanna to open the game wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, you should get an icon in your taskbar. Click Open Web UI. This will bring you to the UI where you manage the hotfix merger. So here's the mod cabinet. This is going to be the second, the third link in the description. You can scroll down, go to Cheat Mods, for example. Pick any mod you want, of course. Go Extreme Improvements. So now copy the link, then you can go, let's say, add URL. So now I've added the mod, so whenever the game asks for the hotfixes, it's going to like install the mod basically into the game. So we're going to wait for that to load. All right, so now the game's loaded up. While it does this, it's going to sign me in, log me in and stuff. So, this is where the game requests the hotfixes on this, like, Borderlands 3 splash screen. So, anytime you want to change your mods, especially add mods, you're going to want to go to that screen. You can do so by clicking the quit to title screen. So, I've, if you go here to the bottom news, it says 1284 out of 2540. 1284 is how many hotfixes are modded, and that is the total amount of hotfixes in the game. So if I load through. So now I've loaded in, and you can tell it's working because I'm <laughs> running at Mach 5. So if I quit back to main menu, well, that loads in. Let's say I want to go back. I want to add in a different mod, for example, like a joke mod. So what about NPC Giant Lands, where it makes every... N NPC five times big. Click the link, add, copy that, then I add it again. But the problem is, is I haven't re-requested hotfixes, so now I need to click quit to title screen. This will bring me back to the title screen. I press any key, it'll sign me in, and then it will re-request hotfixes. So you can tell that it's worked because it has merged hotfixes and it adds the links. So now if I load back into the game, if I run over here, you will see that the NPCs are very backup. big. So you can tell that worked. What if I say, oh, well, I don't want my NPCs to be five times as big. I can click Delete Selected, and then I close out the game because otherwise the changes that the mod made will still be in effect. So now I can relaunch the game. It'll have a clean slate of modded hotfixes, and it will only add the movement sp speed cheat mods. Then, let's say I want to preset, so this way I can share this file with everyone who wants like movement speed cheats. I can say, oh, speed cheats as the name of the preset. And now if I come here, I have speed cheats as a preset. What if I want a different one where I add gigantic speed cheats so giant speed cheats for example now i can switch between the two and i have one that has this and i have one that has giant 
then the other options that the proxy has is replace and merge. Merge will combine your hotfixes with the one that Gearbox gives out. So this is what you should probably use. Replace will replace your modded hotfixes, or will replace Gearbox's hotfixes with modded ones. So Gearbox will not give you any of their changes when your game loads up. Another thing you can do is receive items. You can copy paste in a serial code into here, click add, and it will send it to your mail. So that should be all that you need.